quiz time once again on Consuming Passions. And the question is, what do these two have in common? Of course the answer is iron. This is one and this has it in useful quantities and in a form that makes it readily absorbed into the body. Today's Consuming Passions recipe teams up beef with noodles and other wonderful things for a dish that has the five basic food needs. Goodness, aroma, flavour, texture and colour, or gaftk for short. I'll start with the beef. I'm using a lean cut and just have to trim off the fat and then cut it into thin strips. In this dish, just 100 grams or so of beef per person will be adequate. Now I use a mixture of a teaspoon of sesame oil mixed with half a teaspoon of five spice and a couple of teaspoons of sweet chilli sauce or hot chilli sauce if you prefer. The beef strips are then stirred in and allowed to stand for a few minutes. Next I use hazelnuts. 100 grams of shelled hazelnuts are put into an open pan and they're roasted in a moderate oven for a few minutes. Vegetable next, I like to use fresh asparagus and if I can't get any, I'll use snow peas. I wouldn't substitute canned asparagus in this dish, which needs the asparagus to be crisp. All I have to do is break off the ends, which may be used to make stock, and cut them into four or five centimetre long pieces. Then I plunge them into boiling water and allow to blanch for two or three minutes. I drain them and put them straight into cold water to fix the colour and keep them crisp. Incidentally, asparagus, like most vegetables, is virtually fat-free and also, like most vegetables, is best bought in season when it's at its cheapest and it's most flavourful. Now, once these have been drained, I come to my next ingredients, some flavourings in the form of spring onions, which are roughly chopped, and some garlic and ginger, which has been finely chopped. Time to cook beefy noodles. Into a large frying pan or wok, I put a little oil and then in go the onion pieces. This is over high heat, most important. Then in goes the garlic and the ginger. And after a minute or so, I add some coriander, a couple of teaspoons of ground coriander, and a teaspoon of garam masala, that delicious blend of spices that usually includes cloves, cinnamon, pepper, and cardamom. This is usually added to Indian curries towards the end of cooking, but in this dish, it's added now. Next, the beef. In it goes with its marinade. And I make sure that I cook very quickly so the meat doesn't stew and toughen. Once it's changed colour, out it comes with the onion, the ginger and the garlic. A little more oil and I quickly stir fry the asparagus. They really don't need more than a few seconds. Then in go the roasted hazelnuts whole or in pieces, it really doesn't matter. A little liquid now, chicken stock, a couple of tablespoons, and a tablespoon or so of coconut milk. Once I have a smooth mixture, I stir the beef in and add the noodles. Pre-cooked noodles, either Japanese or Hokkien noodles, will be fine. They're all just tossed together just to warm through a final generous amount of coriander leaves and just like that it's ready to serve and there it is with its goodness aroma flavor texture and color or gaft beefy noodles consuming passion style why not accompany it with an australian shiraz something robust that will go with the robustness of the dish from consuming passions bon appetit